Hey guys, and welcome back to the last episode of Life is Strange. This is called episode 5, Polarized, and my word, I just finished episode 4, this is episode 5. It'll recap in the preview zone, Life is Strange, but my head is still blown, and I wanted to do this episode before I forget, and while it's still fresh in my memory, so... Episode 5, the last episode of Life is Strange, Polarized, beginning now. Holy shit, here we go. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody, except each other. You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. Oh. Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. What the hell? Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player's choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. This is the last time you will hear that on Life is Strange. If they bring out Season 2, that is. If they don't bring out Season 2, that is. So here we go. Where the hell are we? Oh, we'll be in the dark room, won't we? Oh my lord. I might be able to go back in a picture and save Chloe, I don't know. I'm hoping that's what happens. Square Enix. I've never know how to say Enix Enix. It's episode 5. It'll be a don't nod entertainment. Where is it? Where's the don't nod entertainment? I've got a coffee right next to me, just in case. It's always good to have coffee on hand. Especially when you're dealing with shit like this. Don't nod entertainment. So I'm guessing Mr. Jefferson has taken me down to the dark room. And he's going to do the same stuff he's been doing with all his other victims. Mr. Jefferson, though. Seriously, come on. Life is Strange, Episode 5, Polarized. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Am I going to wake up? I can hear like brushing or something. I don't know if it's music or it's actually brushing something. I'm strapped to a chair. That's good. He must have figured out my me being able to rewind time, surely. Oh no, he's not there. Oh, there's Victoria. Hmm. Chloe? What? Where? Okay. It's a dark room. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's all good. Right. There's Victoria. Anybody out there? Please help! You ain't gonna friggin' get anyone's reaction there. Victoria. Speak, Victoria. Victoria. 
Wake up. Wake up. Oh, she's actually waking up. How strange. Nope, apparently she's not. Detach. Can I detach? I doubt I can. That's pretty tight duct tape. Nope. Somebody help me! Left foot, detach. Not a chance. These straps are hurt. Look. Of course. And right in front of me. <laughs> God. I don't remember anything that happened. Hopefully, I'm so Shit. hoping Chloe isn't it's dead me. or there's some way I can save her. He took that shot last night. Um. Great. What's that? I can see all my things, but I can't grab it. Are they all my things? Oh, and Victoria. If I could move it towards me. Well, obviously not, because my right foot is stuck. <laughs> oh. Obviously, my right foot is able to get out. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Come on. My God. Um. What can I look at? God. Oh. I don't remember anything. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Okay, so there's literally nothing I can do then. Oh. Ooh. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. Yes. But this is the only way. Yes, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? There we go. Oh, Max. oh God. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Of course. Least, look at that perfect face. Only a little bit creepy. Hold that stare there! Stay no. still! What the hell? So Kate must have known it was Jefferson as well, but didn't tell me. Oh, she might not have been able to remember. You fucked up my shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. Oh yeah, but clearly. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Oh. Yes. I still hate that word. Good for you, pal. But I love the purity of your own image. Gross. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Hmm. Let me try this angle. Oh God. Don't move. I'd move about just to fucking over. You ain't getting the shot you want, bitch. Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows. And an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Oh my with Arcadia Bay. God, he's mental. Nice. Good. He has oh, good. Good. Eyes. So why did I come back to this picture by any chance? It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room mm -hmm. is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hand. Shit, so where's Nathan then? You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Hmm. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm Aww. sorry that I killed it, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. You're being really strange. Okay. Now this looks good. Does Maybe I know? Few more close ups. Oh. 
Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Okay. Now don't move or this will hurt much. <laughs> much. Yeah, boy. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, nope. you might have seen all this coming. Really? God. You subtly Damn. hinted it to our students. I've had my eye on you. Well, to and our I class. You've been but you do, okay. Fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Okay. And I've gone again. Shit. So that picture is useless then. Oh. So what happened then? Them pictures will have gone, won't they? Because I spilled the... Yeah, I spilled the stuff on it. Okay, so that's one thing changed, I guess. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Alright, so he's not down here. There's more photos. Where did that file go? She's making really funny noises. Alright. Wanna look at them photos? Whoa. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Maybe. This might work. Let's try again. Please work. Alright. Let's try again. Let's get it in focus. I need to go this way. No, I don't. There we go. Get me a hot cup of joe. What the hell is going on? I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Please Simply tell me. I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. Naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. I'm yes. sure they're very lucky. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Boom. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Excuse me. Go to hell. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. Mm. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Kate survived. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. Oh. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get mm -hmm. away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the 
town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. 